There are invasive toxic caterpillars in the UK that some researchers warn, warn could irritate you or kill you. Do deadly the caterpillars from outer space. <laughs> no, they're from here, yeah. but not from the UK itself. Uh, they're called, well, it's the caterpillar of the oak processionary moth. Right. So it will turn into what we assume to be a venom moth. -like a venom moth, yeah. <laughs> Going off of the, the t shirt. But um, it's the theme. As a caterpillar, it's very dangerous because of the bristles. It's, it's fuzzy. Uh, almost hair-like. So they have 62,000 white bristles. Oh, they're long. Uh, and the hairs are full of a toxic protein called thimetapine. And when the caterpillar feels like it's being threatened, mm -hmm. it will eject those hairs at you and <laughs> therefore make all of the toxic proteins airborne. Uh -huh. I mean, that's what I do when I feel threatened. <laughs> so what happens is they can cause a skin irritation, uh -huh. breathing trouble, fevers, Eye and throat irritation, um, and if you are allergic, you could die. That's crazy. So Jason uh, Dombrowski, an entomologist with Cornell, said that they you can get go into anaphylactic shock potentially right. by these hairs if they're launched at you and they go into your airways. Oof. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's it's not so much you know touching it. It could. Right. Make itself part of you, even. Well, and that what I'd be worried about specifically is like kids, because especially oh, as a kid, know. they like you don't know, and like a fuzzy caterpillar is like what you want to touch and play with, and you know, mess with, and so I think that's that's one of the biggest dangers that we have or they have facing them. Well, it's just such a surprise because you don't expect that to happen. Yeah, but those sixty-two thousand bristles could be launched. They could go anywhere under your face or right. your skin. Uh, one gardener had them launched at uh, their skin on their stomach. Um, she described her symptoms to the BBC saying, my first symptom was a rash on my tummy. I was unaware of what it was and first thought it was a heat rash. I had spells of violently, feeling violently sick. I thought I might have shingles. The rash got worse and the left side of my face became covered in a sore, irritating rash. My left eye became sore and weepy. I contacted my doctor and confirmed I was severely affected by OPM, oak processionary moth, and must keep away from the source as over time I had developed a severe allergic reaction. That's just like a warning for topless gardening. Like, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, keep your shirts on. That's true. It was on her stuff. Well, yeah. she could have been wearing like a, a midriff like a, top. Yeah. Like, I'm a cute gardener. A skimpy, just two piece. <laughs> well, you know, it's, you gotta be careful with those moths. Yeah. Or rather, the caterpillar of these moths. Right. I don't think the moth would have the same kind of danger. That's what I was because wondering. Because they can't launch the bristles anymore. Right. But do they have like, Poison dust? Like, is this something that I have to go? That in? sounds like a Pokemon. It word. does. It is. <laughs> <laughs> like I there's mean, sleep powder and <laughs> and poison dust. And poison dust. I mean, only if you attack them with your Pokemon. Sure, sure. But, but I think they go into it a little bit too. And the, the reason this is such a shock is because they came with the it, like imported oak trees. Mm -hmm. And so it was like slow at first and then they kept importing them and the population kept growing. And now there's a whole like task force out there to wipe out these nests. Yes, of, apparently they're able to really thrive yeah. in England and Wales in right. particular. They love rain, I guess. Oh, That's boy. me speculating. <laughs> I mean, it's... It's an invasive species, yeah. so this is not a problem that the UK is used to at this point. If you see one of these moths, get away Run. from the moth. Run. <laughs> well, yeah. not only that, where the oaks had come from, there was like the whole ecosystem that was kind of keeping them in check. Mm. So without that, when they transplanted, literally, these trees, like there was nothing to keep these, these in check. So it's a situation of do we bring the other species over there too to kind of mitigate that, but no, then you have a whole other. Then you have a later I've seen this Simpsons fly episode. Situation. Yeah. yeah, or the gorillas come and eat the snakes, and you have gorillas on your hands. Poisonous, toxic gorillas <laughs> <laughs> with poison and dust, oh. another, it's Pokemon. It's worrisome, but I think it's doable. Yeah. Audience, have you ever had a surprise allergic reaction and what happened? Please let us know on Facebook and Twitter.